Yeah. We back again. Tron and Kimberly. Moses. Welcome to Team Moses Vlogs. Will you watch us do life? And enjoy marriage. On our journey. I love you. You love me. I love you. You love me. I got you back, baby. I got you back, baby. I love you. You love me. I love you. You love me. What's up team? So today is a new day. I did a lot of things today, you guys. Very productive day. Did a video on relationships. She, she did a call. How you know I did a call? I heard you. When'd you hear me? In the car. In the car. When you were on the call. Oh, I was counseling someone. Yeah. So yeah, little kids are like sponges. Sponges. So yeah, I was counseling someone that calls the prayer line. They was like, can I have a one-on-one -on -one with you? I was like, sure. I don't do it with everybody, you know, but I do it as led. Yeah, so, yep, a very productive day. Did a 6 a.m. call, it was amazing. Uh, noon day call, amazing. Deliverance, uh, amazing. Uh, what else we do today? You drive your car. Yep, I drove my car. We we're went. The line. Yep, we're in the car line. Got mama from school. Pick Mariah up. I'm picking up Mariah now. What else we do? Not now. Yeah, well, we're in a car carpool line. I mean, we need to go on life. Not now. Okay, well, anywho, somebody's a sm smarty pants. So, yeah, it was a good day. Uh, my sister, Tasha, and her friend, Sherelle, are coming over. We about to go. Yeah, we're about to roll out. The line's starting to move. But they're coming over tonight. She has, uh, she's making us dip. So I went to the store and got some scoops, tortilla, what is it, tortitos, scoop, chips. So I got some of those, so I'm excited. Um, God is so good. People cause people to be a blessing to you, so I thank God for that. So that's what we're doing now. Babe is in love with ice. So he just drinks big old things of Pepsi. And he's like, babe, can you get some ice? I'm like, oh. so yeah, I got him some ice. And you guys, I am just ready to go home, ready to kick off my shoes and just ready to get comfortable and just get some work done. I am trying to finish this wisdom book. You guys, I'm like, what? It's taking me so long. It's too many distractions, but I'm almost done with this wisdom book. I want to release this book next month in December. So yeah. But anyways, guys, I will talk to you soon. We're almost wasting our time, internet. We just wasted our time? Yeah. Yeah, we should have team. Mariah, cause Picking. Because it's Friday. Right. What happens on Friday? Before, before this video before this video uploads. Friday. Yeah, so November today I stop. forgot that she had a meeting to like 6.15. I don't pick her up to 6.15. Right now it's like 3.30. And I forgot that, hey, I don't have to be at her school to 6.15 today. So we wasted like maybe like 20, 30 minutes in the car, in the carpool line, the long line. I forgot all about that. Like, oh, I'm so used to picking her up every day, you know, but now I forgot. Like, okay. So anyway, we're, we're going to go home and yeah, we're going to get ready for our company to get some chips and dip. So yeah. But anyways, I, it wasn't a wa all the waste, right, Ma? I got to enjoy time with you, right? You need to spend time with your mama? You want to go home? Hmm. Okay, well, I enjoyed spending time with you. So, yeah, it was good. It wasn't a waste of time all the way. So, you guys, yeah, it is going to rain. And I think this week it's supposed to snow. Third, I think, yeah, someday coming up this week it's supposed to snow. 
yeah it's like really it's gonna snow and the weather is so weird you guys it's been hot then cold say what son Yeah, it's been cold and hot, cold and hot. So I'm just like, whatever, I'm over it. Yeah. But anything beats the Colorado snow. Like, it'd be so cold in Colorado. All that snow. So anything beats that. I'd rather, I'd rather it snow because you, you get more toward the lakes. That's not true, though, man. Not in Colorado. You still sometimes, gotta go to school. Sometimes. You guys, when I, when I first moved to Colorado, it snowed, like, maybe the first week I was there. And I was like, what? They don't have school today. Yay. And then I found out they still had school. I was so scared to drive the kids to school. Yeah. The only time they canceled school in Colorado was when it was negative 15 degrees. I never forget. My toes were frozen. I had a nerd to have sneakers on. I had to invest in snow boots and gloves when I was there. But over here, they closed school for everything. In Colorado, you're going to go to school in the snow. Like, so I don't know what you're talking about, my mom. I'm talking about he want more breaks. He'd rather have school break for breaks when it's snow. Not in Colorado. Yeah, but over here, when Hurricane Florence was coming, the kids didn't have school for a week. I'm just looking around like, man, it ain't that bad. I was mad. I wanted the kids to go to school. Because I needed my time to meet. Some some me time. So, you know. <laughs> but my mom loved it. He loved not going to school. So we went down to Florida and everything like that. Went to Panama City. And it's crazy because we was running from a hurricane and the city that we were at had a hurricane. So prayers for Panama City and all that stuff down there. Yeah. What's up team? What's so, up team? I want to show you guys the dip. I'm about to take my last bite of it. But it's just like we got the scoops, the, the scoops and the dip look like this some sausage and cheese and tomatoes or something it's really good it's good it's like my, my third my sister, bowl my sister and her friend came over and bought some yeah they bought us some they bought some for the family some dip for the family they just left tasha be watching hey tasha mm, my third bowl your third bowl yeah let me put you down team so here we go. Yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Number crumbs in this bag of scoops. Like this ain't a scoop. This is I don't know what it's called. It's a fruit loop. <laughs> nah, I'm just. Yeah, so she was telling some powerful testimonies, right, babe? Powerful testimonies. Yeah, Tim. I wish we were recording her. Told some powerful testimonies. I enjoyed it. I said, "Girl, you you need to step out into your ministry." Yeah. Yeah, I just told us a testimony about the uh, the miracle in the Hudson. That was powerful. With the plane on the Hudson, how God had her. I think days before. Was it days before? I don't know. I don't know the time. That morning. God. That morning. Yeah. Oh man, I ain't even hear that part. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Mer <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. All right, all right, cut it out. I can't help it. I'm so goofy tonight, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, so come back, honey. I'm a little bit goofy at night. It's past my bedtime. It's late. So, um. <laughs> yeah, but, um, she said that morning. Let me drink some soda real quick. Okay. She said that morning. Uh, God said, mercy in the air, mercy in the air. She didn't know what, um, you know, what he's talking about, but she couldn't get up and stop praying. Then she got a phone call. Her mother was like, hey, did you hear about the plane cr crash on the Hudson River? So, powerful testimony, powerful, powerful, powerful. <laughs>
used to be a Texas Pete lover, but I don't know, Texas Pete just tastes so watered. It tastes so watered down. You know? So I like having me red hot. Yes, yes, yes. My only problem, team, is sometimes I pour too much. And you know, you pour too much hot sauce or something, you completely destroy it. So what I gotta do is pour some and see how I like that. Now I know some of y'all don't call like ramen and stuff soup, but we already established that. Pumpkin, pumpkin didn't think it was soup. But I told her, why do you think it's soup and it's in the soup section? Because they call it noodles. I asked one of the kids one day, I said, you want me to make you some soup? No. I said, what you eating? Yeah, what you eating? You eating soup? No. I walked over there and they eating soup. Because they call it noodles. But as you see, I showed y'all this before. Ramen noodle soup. She still don't believe it's soup. If it wasn't soup, it wouldn't say soup. I hope y'all mind me eating in front of y'all. That's what we do. Now, I said this before. Do not watch us while you fast. Team, I don't even know if that's good or not. I just brushed my teeth. I just brushed my teeth about five minutes ago. I still 10 minutes ago, but I still taste it. So anyway, we ain't talking about nothing. I'm just happy to be back, team. Happy to be back. Today is a beautiful Saturday. I don't know where y'all live, but where y'all live, it might be winter here, or it might be fall. When does winter start? I don't know, but it's, it's summertime here. She got them heaters. Ain't nobody using no heaters. Kids using their fans. I think I should have put this in the microwave with the soup. I want some. I ate two things of noodles yesterday, T. I ain't getting none, did I? Two cups of noodle cups. Those are my favorites. But you know what? They start to taste like two, plastic. You ate two cups of soup? And that's soup and noodle. I know you call them soup, but See, I ate two ten, cups. No, no. It's not that I call them soup. They call them soup. Well, sometimes, you know what I start to do? Because my start tasting like plastic. I... Warmed it up for an extra 30 seconds and it got rid of that plastic taste. Look, ramen noodle soup. Ramen noodle yeah, soup. Yeah, I know you said it's soup. You told me that's Babe, but even if I didn't tell you, it's in the soup section. Well, babe, it's been embedded in me for years. It's like you gotta de embed me. I was just telling the team how one day I was asking the kids, I said, What you, what you, my, my, my. he was at the table, I said, What you eating, soup? He said, No. I go over there, I said, You're eating soup. They call it noodles. It's noodle noodles, soup. Noodles, noodles. Whether you eat the cup, or you eat the pack. Call them ramen or noodles. <laughs> yeah. And up north in New York, we call them oodles or noodles. Welcome unto this place. See, Tim? She's going to sing all the time now. Some of y'all complimenting her on her voice. Now she's going to keep singing. Every time y'all compliment her, she's going she gonna to sing some more. I'm telling you. I tell you, I heard Juanita Bottom say one time, she said, you can't even compliment people at church. Next day, you know, they be all in the parking lot prophesying. And that's what she do, Tim. She all in the parking lot prophesying. I got stuff that worship. I need to do better, you guys. Hmm. Yeah. Go ahead, sing, baby, sing. Yeah, I like that song. Blue Boo probably gonna tell me all, because I ain't shut up while you saw. Yeah. 
It's all right. It's all right. We're going to step out. We're going to do this. I'm going to get out of my comfort zone. I said, God, I've been holding back. I repent. No more holding back. I'm going to sing and just let go. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go find something to cook. Yeah, find something to cook, baby. Find something to cook your man. This is a good team. Huh? We love vegetables here. Right, babe? Oh, she gone. She in the room singing in. See, this is good. For those of y'all that didn't see this. This is good. This boneless chicken. You got ground turkey? If y'all only knew, if y'all only knew, Tim. Oh, my husband so much, you guys. If y'all only Sometimes know. Sometimes I just want to slow dance. He can dance so good. Me, not so much. But, hey, doesn't matter. He loves me anyways. You just slow dance. Mm -hmm. I love you, baby. You're so special to me. You got my back, baby. I got your back, baby. I got your back, baby. Oh, my. 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 Oh, I just give out hugs to everyone. <laughs> you know, God will put a love in your heart for your family. Mm -hmm. Is that better? Yeah, that's way better. Yeah, I know my husband the opposite. To him, it's easier to hand out flyers and be engaging with people. But to me, it's easier for me to prophesy. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Cause you know I I can hear from someone someone else just like that. Like, okay, I, I know you're trying to do this. You're trying to do that, and God gonna do this. <clears throat> but just speaking to people like, oh God, give me strength, give me boldness, God, help me, Jesus, help me, Lord, so I don't mess up. <laughs> yeah. Y'all would never think that, would y'all, too? Yeah. Are you guys like that? It just comes out, you know, I guess as part as part of the gift and the grace of my life. Yeah. Just it, it just comes out. Mm -hmm. Prophecy, word of knowledge. I ain't even touched that thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you guys, I'm just putting up dishes today. Yep. Uh, we got a funeral to go to, my cousin. Jennifer Allen, uh, she's about six years older than me. She had about five kids, a lot of grandkids. She had lupus. Um, she was six years older than me. About six years older than me. Yeah. It had a, a grand, well, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Nowadays, yeah. So, I think before I left from Colorado, maybe 2007 or something, 2008, I had a cousin. Actually, Jennifer's older sister died in lupus. 
then one of my aunts got lupus. It just runs in that family on the Allen side. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, we come against that in Jesus' name. Generational curse. Yeah, they got it bad over there. They gotta really break that. Yeah, so we're gonna go to Fayetteville and just we'll ride up there and go. Yeah. Later. So I'm gonna do my hair. You guys, I wrapped my hair up last night. I woke up and the scarf was somewhere in the bed. I don't even know where it's at. It's somewhere <laughs> in the bed. Like, really? I'm trying to do better with my hair. I actually did my hair yesterday, guys. And Bay was all over me. Bay was checking me out like, girl, you so fine. And yo, really? you I should have seen my husband just checking me out, team. Mm -hmm. He was just like, he couldn't stop looking at me, checking me mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Right. It was all googly eyes and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like right now. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys, my husband, he, he always shields me, always protects me. Yeah. So crazy people on my husband's YouTube channel talking about me. And my husband just like, they don't know they talk about my wife on my channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyways. Yeah. Had to put the block on them. You know, they could still see the view, the videos. They probably could still give a thumbs down or whatever, but they can't talk no more. They can't talk. Y'all know, know how that go, Tate. Can't talk no more. Not on my channel. I just want to say one thing. What you want to say? God looks at our heart. Mm -hmm. I just want to say one thing. God looks at our heart. So if I put on some lipstick, amen, or some lip gloss, you know, it's unto God, all right? So God is not concerned about my lips being pink or red or fuchsia. You know, God is concerned about my heart and my walk. So um, I guess I keep hearing this from different people. Uh, they'll say like your lips are distracting your lipstick is distracting but what does it got to do with what I'm teaching you know what does it got to do with my, my walk before the Lord and that reminds me of Amy Simple McPherson that McPherson. reminds me of Amy Simple McPherson, McPherson. you know when she was alive uh, a lot of people because uh, she wore red lipstick sometimes they accused her of being a Jezebel but God used her powerfully she had a miracle ministry the ambulance used to just dump bodies, you know, and she'll pray for them. They, and, and people will get healed and get off the stretcher, you know. So people are so caught up on the package that the, you know, the anointing comes in. They're so caught up on looks and they can't receive from the vessel. You know, I have seen people, um, they rejected me based on how I look. Um, and it's sad, you know. Well, you know, in some cases that would be hard to receive, you know, like. I, I can't. I can't see that with like lipstick, but maybe an outfit. Yeah. Maybe an outfit that's too short, or maybe an outfit that's too tight. Yeah. What are y'all? What are y'all thoughts, Tim? Tell us. Talk back to us. Anyway, go ahead, babe. Yeah, I, I wouldn't wear an outfit that's too short. Preaching the word, cause that that'll be definitely distracting, and um, I wouldn't want to have that blood on my hands, you know. So, but lipstick, come on now. What you want my lips to be chapped? You know, preaching the word. Like, come on now, really? <laughs> yes, I put on some pink. I love pink lips. All right. So I put on my lipstick and I preach the word. I put on my heels and I preach the word. And I thank God that people get healed, delivered, and they get set free. So I thank God for that. With my pink lips on. Amen. Yeah. So I thank God for my pink lip gloss. <laughs> All right, team. We getting ready to go. Team, I'm I'm sleeping. Me too, you guys. I could go back to sleep and just sleep for about. I don't never sleep long. I say about an hour or two. <laughs> My husband's the best, you guys. I love him so Amen. much. Amen. He that findeth the wife findeth a good thing, and obtain favor from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Anyway, team. We pray y'all have an awesome day today. Pray you enjoy yourselves. Don't work too hard. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.
you love. 